backpacks that I've used in the past are just one compartment, maybe a front pocket, maybe water bottle pockets. Not a lot of features and function. This is the exact opposite. It's like two and a half pounds, something like that. I'll put the weight on the screen. All that weight comes from pockets and zippers and yeah, that stuff. So, so this company is called VanQuest and how I came across them was when I went on that trip with my friend in the desert, I had a bunch of camera gear and I was using an old Scout Boy Scout pack um, that was just a compartment and all my camera gear was scratching against each other. And looking online, I found a pack that they used to make that was called the Javelin, I think. And it just had one strap and it was a sling pack that you could pull around and open up from the side and get all your camera gear. So I sent them an email and because they were out of stock, I sent them an email and said, hey, when are you gonna restock these? And they said, we're not. Saw a YouTube channel and said they wanted to send me one. So uh, there's a lot of reviews of this pack from other YouTubers. Um, so I'm not gonna go through everything because you can find that in a lot of other videos, but I'm gonna show you what has been specifically helpful for, uh, this is my camera bag for work, for doing like uh, paid shoots and then also YouTube stuff. So this is the Trident 21 and the style of their packs are like a little bit military and then functional and they don't open like a normal pack like that. It opens from the side. I always lay it down like this and can access the main compartment. So on the outside they've got a huge pocket here, a small pocket there and on this side a water bottle pocket that it zips flush against the pack when I take this out. And on this side, they've got a water bottle pocket that folds up, so I use that to carry my tripod. They sent me this little clip that is elastic that holds it up at the top. I'm not sure if it comes with one of these when you buy it, uh, but it's actually super helpful. Okay, so this, this water bottle pocket has a zipper here. Now it's a very small pocket. And then behind that, there's a slot for business cards. And so there's no access to the inside of the pack from this side. In this big pocket, so you can see the zipper goes down to right there, and then on this side it stops like halfway down. So it kind of flops sideways and out. So when it's held like this, or laid down on the ground, you can access it without things like this cable just falling onto the ground. Um, and here, I like this elastic daisy chain. For my camera monitor and for lights, I use Sony batteries and they fit in there, the small ones do. And then also GH5 batteries. So it's pretty easy to charge them up and put them all on a line and move from one side to the other and know what's dead and what's charged. And in here I keep like headphones, the cable to my monitor, SD cards, small stuff like that that I'll be accessing relatively frequently because it's easy to get to. So this pack just has so many pockets that there's definitely times where I'm looking for something and if you put it in the wrong spot and don't have the system worked in, you're sitting there zipping, unzipping, zipping, unzipping. So it's definitely something to get used to from where I'm coming from. Okay, down lower, I put more cables in this guy and then it's got this big pocket. It zips the same way where it just kind of flops out to the side, mouse pad. And then it's got another see-through pocket that's huge. That's where I keep my monitor for my cameras. And then my editing hard drive in here. And the main compartment is what's interesting about this pack. It opens from the side and it's also, the zipper is shaped like that. When you unzip it, it flaps open like a traditional camera bag, I guess. On the side here is my, this just goes to the bottom of my gimbal, it's the batteries. Keep that detached and quick access to GH5 um, with a cage on it. The camera bag comes with three of these little dividers. Here, I'll take it out. You can resize them, resize the bag to fit anything you need and they actually stay pretty stiff. Like this top one, I put a bunch of stuff in there and it's going, it's pulling against, like against the way that the Velcro would go and it's held it fine. So I make four compartments in here with these, plus 
a long one in the back. So if you look down in there, back in there, you can see my gimbal. It just goes from top to bottom, but in the back because I don't access it that much. But I always wanna have it with me for jobs. Um, and then underneath, I keep lenses in here. And all the way at the bottom, I keep my little on-camera light with diffusers and stuff. They also sent me this thing, which is a pocket organizer, and then this is the hip belt that came with the pack. And I've been using this as like a, a wallet the last like two and a half weeks. This thing, it's kind of the same as the pack, but way smaller. Put my wallet in here. And then this is nice to have because I can throw it over my shoulder and have my own little condensed camera kit when I leave, just in case if I feel like filming something. Uh, I've got car keys and house keys. And then the RX100 fits in here. And then I've got two extra batteries for the RX100 just put in this little webbing and chapstick. That's it. Then up top, this is a little microphone kit, a lav mic that records onto an SD card in here. I use this a lot. And then you can see the rest of the gimbal right in here. And then an ergonomic mouse, Bluetooth mouse. <laughs> and all that stuff goes up there. Uh, and so like I was saying, there's this, there's so many extra pockets like here. I just, I'm sure eventually I'll find a use for it, but for now it's just like if I put stuff in there, I'm not gonna know where it is. Uh, because I've never had a pack that has storage right there. There's another one here, which I believe is the laptop sleeve. Uh, one thing I found that's slightly annoying, just for the way that I was setting this up at first with room down here for things, I can't move this, this panel up any higher because of this little thing for the laptop sleeve because it doesn't sit there. Um, it's not that bad, I've worked around it this stuff back in. There's one more compartment. On the back panel, there's a really padded, like this is like a thick, I don't know, thick cardboard or something in there. And that's just a laptop place. One side of this has Velcro, like the fuzzy side, and the other side is just a nylon which is nice because I Velcro all my hard drives on. So if I put it this way, it just like gets stuck to it. So it's nice that it has the nylon side, otherwise my computer would be stuck every time I try to take it out. So my initial thoughts as a camera bag, it's pretty nice um, for the amount of weight that I have in there. The two straps is good for stuff where I'm just carrying my gimbal in like one lens and a water bottle. The single strap that I was looking for definitely seems more practical because accessing it with the two straps is still kind of awkward. If I'm like walking and trying to get my camera out, it's it's less precarious than trying to get your pack out of a drawstring closure at the top, your camera out of the drawstring closure at the top and pulling it out. But um, I don't know, they said that there wasn't a lot of need for the single straps. So I don't know if it was uncomfortable having one strap with camera gear because it's relatively heavy. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely the heaviest camera gear setup that I've had because it's always like 20 pounds of stuff in here. When I'm wearing it, it's like decently small. For this amount of gear, I would not want anything smaller, um, but it's, it's pretty much perfect size for what I need. It's a gimbal, a tripod, and camera gear, so it's got a sternum strap, which I've never used. And then you just kind of swing it like that and lock it in with your arm. So it's still, you can still get to things pretty quick, take pictures. Access is not perfect, but it's a huge step up as far as convenience when like out hiking and stuff. Being able to open it, get out the camera, but then I have to do something like this, which is not optimal if I want to keep hiking. So you still kind of have to fully stop. Whereas if it was a full sling, 
I could do either hand access when you let go it's not gonna swing back open but I don't know it works for me I've never spent money on a actual camera gear to keep things padded and not just like metal rubbing against metal so thanks to them for sending this out I'll put links to this down in the description I don't have an affiliate code with them yet but this is something that I've really enjoyed using since they sent it to me and yeah it's something that I can get behind saying that after two weeks it's pretty awesome um, so if I get one I'll put that in the description I also just finished the new website for mine and my sister's videography business so I'll put a link to that also check out our reel let me know what you think of the website if you have any tips of like things in there that could be better uh, send me an email because yeah, it's, it's the first website that I built. It's like actually used for marketing purposes. So <laughs> any tips would be appreciated. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.